Hey guys, welcome to the Paramount Theater in Austin, Texas. I'm Devin Pike from RedCarpetCrash.com. And I'm Mark Walters from BigFanboy.com. Devin, weren't we just here like three and a half months ago? It feels like I might have slept a little bit since then. I wish I had, my God. It's the world premiere of Predators, Robert Rodriguez's new take on the John McTiernan classic. Nimrod Antal directing, Adrian Brody starring, Elizabeth Avalon producing. And they're all going to be here on the red carpet tonight. Every one of them. Well, We're that's what they tell us. Do you think they, they wouldn't lie to us, would they? I don't think so. Hopefully yeah. not. We drove all the way from Dallas for this, so hopefully they uh, told Make us it sound like it was a really long trip. Yeah, <laughs> well, with you. Yeah, thanks. But uh, no, no, it's, it's, I think it's going to be great. You know, Robert Rodriguez is kind of a slice of Austin, so it's always nice to see him have a world premiere of a big movie like this right here in the Lone Star State. And we've got all of the action for that red carpet right here. Watch this. Hey everybody, I'm standing here with the one and only Robert Rodriguez. The film is Predators. I got to see this today and you know last time we were talking we were at South by Southwest and you were saying how you guys really wanted to make a conscious effort to kind of match the sensibilities and the feel of the first film. I think you nailed it, man. I, I felt like I was watching like a true sequel to that first movie for the uh, first time. I get chills just thinking about when that music comes up from the original movie because you feel like you're right back transported there. I was so happy we got to use the music because that was a lot of the mood and use the original Predator and some of the original designs and then branch off from that, but also just bring this really great cast. I think that really helped elevate it beyond any what other Predator movies or any movies of this genre usually have, that, that kind of a stellar cast. Now, how much of the movie was actually shot in Austin? I know you guys kind of split it up a little bit in some of the shooting area. We only shot th uh, a few weeks in, in Hawaii. The rest of it was here. So a lot of those real alien landscapes um, were here. So it's pretty amazing. The studio was very surprised. Like, where's that? It's in Austin. <laughs> it seems like Fox is being pretty supportive about this. Do you th is it safe to say that they're very happy with the finished product? Oh, they're very happy with it. They've been excited about it from the beginning. And as they saw it getting made, they were just uh, really enthused. And they, they really love the movie. I know there's already rumors circulating about a possible sequel. Is is uh, is that something you're already germinating those ideas in your head about a possible sequel? Oh yeah, we, we thought about it for a while. We've got some ideas, and we'll see how this one does, and see if people want another one. We'd certainly, both of us, would love to do it again. You got Predators coming out this weekend. We've got Machete coming up in September. And uh, uh, what? Any word on Sin City Two? What can we look for on that? I'm going to shoot Spy Kids, another Spy Kids reboot here in Austin uh, in September, and then right after that, at the heels of the end of the year, I could start another movie. I'm not sure what it is yet. Hey everybody, I'm standing here with Daryl Sabara, the star of the Spy Kids films, and what I think is probably one of the, it needs to be more seen, one of the most underrated films I've seen recently, World's Greatest Dad. You did a phenomenal job in that. Thank you very much. I sort of tried to shed the Spy Kids image off. Uh, I think you did. You think so? <laughs> well, yeah, but that was fun. Bobcat Goldthwait is one of my dearest friends, and uh, so much fun to just play with Robin Williams, and you know, and... And Did you ever have any, was there ever any pressure on that film, like working with Robin Williams, like how am I going to get a word in with this guy? Well, uh, that's what I was thinking, you know, before, and then since Robin and Bobcat have been friends for like 20 years, uh, seriously, the, the set was just a group of friends making a movie, and everybody was, we worked well together, and we, we had a couple weeks to, to hang out before we shot, and, and um, yeah, no, so I wasn't really that worried once we got on set, but just, I learned so much, like, just watching him, you know, he loves, he loves performing. I imagine that guy is endlessly fascinating just to be around. I can't even imagine being in the same oh room. Oh my god. Well, what's funny is like in the morning, the very first thing in the morning, he's very tired until he gets in the makeup room and then he starts to wake up and we'll play some music and start to wake up. But yeah, by lunchtime, he's on fire. Do you do a Robin Williams impersonation? And Rob, I can't, he has too many, he has too many things that he does. <laughs> um, one thing. One of my impersonations of him, we, he was running around uh, with an Obama head, and he'd run around going, Obama the magical Negro, Obama the magical Negro. <laughs> so that's my, that's my Robin impersonation. Now we're here tonight for the premiere of Predators, yeah. and Robert was just talking about how they're getting ready to do kind of a Spy Kids reboot. How do you feel about that? Uh, that's, I think that's great. I mean, I think it's really cool that he's doing that, you know, new kids. So um, I won't be in it too much, but uh, I had a lot of fun. I just finished Machete with Robert. Yeah. So, um, can't wait. Oh my god, me either. So, um, yeah, I played Julio, super cholo guy, and that was a lot of fun to play. And, and I just I love working with him. You know? Can you give us uh, any teases about like some of your scenes in Machete? Like a tease about something we can look for you in that a particular shot? You can look forward to me in a lowrider, blasting some hydraulics. Uh, you can look forward to me with a desert eagle, nice. uh, which was fun. And uh, you can look forward to me looking super cholo and sounding super cholo. And uh, yeah, wife beaters and bandanas and, you know, the whole shebang. Very 
Very nice, man. Hey, Daryl Sabara, ladies and gentlemen, he is the man. Thanks so much for talking to us, man. Love your work. Thank, Thank you very much.